Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. I welcome you to Dark Gist TV. And today is another exciting gist that I bring to you. Thank you for watching and thank you for all my returning subscribers. Kindly comment, like and share this video. Today is about, um, as we all know, the concluded African Magic Award. Bukumi was saying in this video that the Yoruba industry, they didn't show the, the love enough. They don't have genuine love for each other. Because when mm -hmm. they called um, Odunlade, the actor Odunlade for an award, they support the Yoruba actors and actresses were supposed to take because other English, um, under other English actors and actresses too they were there and they supported each other but the vibe was not there for mm -hmm. the yoruba industry so she's made some statement that there should be genuine love in the yoruba industry that even if one person wins everybody wins together not that you go sit down somewhere and say ah, i'm loving our world so to see any no, it's not done like that. So we need to show genuine love to each other so that we can progress in life. So watch what she said in this video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you and drop a comment. That just TV loves you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, good morning. I hope you had a great night. So I want to say a very big thank you once again to everyone who celebrated Giancarlo and Bodo uh, Dung with us yesterday. God bless you. We really appreciate you and everyone who voted. And um, I'm not supposed to actually say this because um, I had to get to do what this kind of drop my own notion about things or say anything about anything has to do with the industry but i just felt like i should just say this once and for and just move over it so where was it yesterday i was at the wings so it was far from the um from where the nominees were sitting because i actually came late so when they called my category though know, i wasn't sure if i was going to win or not so when they announced the winner i was trying to you know reach the um whatever um the stage but like i said earlier i was seated at the wings and before i could even bring myself to think about leaving because the guy that won i have seen is um at his movies but i've not met him in person not like i really know or have a personal relationship with him but then he's he's working hard too he's doing something so we should i should celebrate him it could be my turn anytime so so i was expecting something similar for others um when they called the category of the best supporting actor and um so when i heard i was heading to the stage i had to turn back to ask a friend that was sitting beside me that are you sure it's what i'll do you know why because i was expecting people to come all out you know we going together to you know celebrate and you know share him up and all those things the way the english people were doing but i couldn't see any of that so I was heading to the stage still but he left before i got there and by the time i got back to my seat i was hearing the way some people were talking about the yoruba sector that these people don't love each other i couldn't see anything i was even too ashamed to see anything i was just smiling and you know trying to take myself off the conversation the way the other nominees, I mean, the other winners, like the best actor, the way people came out, the way people were shouting, clapping, and they were like, they know that, was it 70 or 60% of the people in the hall were Yorubas, like people from our own industry, people that came, apart from people that were nominated or stuff like that. that so they were expecting applause, they were expecting people to come all out. And the funny part is, Yoruba movies, usually have fewer nominations in here every CA. So the fact that we are being able to even penetrate some other um, categories, it's like a win, like we're doing better than we used to do. And you celebrating others does not, should not make you feel less of yourself. As in you trying to, you know, light up other people's candles does not dim yours or 
off it i don't know i don't know why it's hard for people to just you know love yourselves genuinely and one person's win should be our win like not he's the one that won not us love shouldn't be about instagram emojis you know some people will show you love on instagram they don't love you in real life dropping comments on your page anything on instagram but when they see you in real life they don't even talk to you and some people they will see you in real life they will talk to you but when it comes to you winning or doing something great you won't see them at your section i just feel like you genuinely loving people and celebrating them it's even a way to remind god of your own remind god of your turn if you love people selflessly and genuinely wish them well good things would come your way too and if we actually try to work together genuinely emphasis on the word genuine we should try to be intentional and genuine when it comes to loving people let's celebrate ourselves if we don't celebrate ourselves no one will celebrate us if we don't love ourselves we won't it will be hard for us to come together to do great things so please this video is coming from a place of love and happiness please let's come together just like other you know you see how these other people are doing I love you but if the love is not genuine should you support come on love support each other love each other a jaw a jaw some people will be like they don't make friends in the industry because everybody are just doing you try please thank you so much god bless you peace 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 i'm not saying please oh peace peace to those who deserve peace